Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskull and welcome to day five of the pregnancy event. Here is our pregnant sim, Clara Jackson. If you haven't seen any of these videos, I'm doing a video for every day of Clara's pregnancy and we are now in trimester two. Look at that little fairy. We are in trimester two and day five. Clara has her little pregnancy bump going on here that she got yesterday. Let's go into the pregnancy event tab and see the daily tasks that she has to do today. So day five, the first thing, so we've got quite a few things there. She's got a doctor's appointment to go to and some, she always needs to go to the fridge to get something. Oh, tomatoes today. Okay. It's always been kind of junk food before now. The first thing though is to discuss nursery ideas with another sim. So I just saw another sim walk past. Yes, here we go, out on the balcony here. Let's click on her and decide on nursery themes is four hours. Oh no, don't discuss nursery ideas. That's There's a, two things that we can do with this sim. Discuss nursery ideas for 30 seconds there. Let's do that little short task. There we go, that is complete. Let's try the get belly rub interaction. We tried it on day two I think but it didn't kind of look right without the without the bump because they don't have a bump on day two they only get it on day four is, is the other, yeah the other sim kind of like goes and belly rubs it okay let's cancel that and let's continue with what we need to do the next thing we'd have a doctor's appointment to do today right yes use the phone to call a doctor to your home to check on baby's progress so let's go to the phone to call over a doctor and then, oh, 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 the doctor's arrived. Let's click on the doctor and have a checkup. Again, it's six hours and 15 minutes. All the appointments that we have now, I'm pretty sure, are going to be there's six hours and 15 minutes. Two different options that you can do. You can do a 13 LP one that gives you 160 maternity tokens, or you can do a simoleon one for 166,690, which is crazy. Let's have a checkup. Lots of people are kind of commenting that these appointments, they haven't got enough money for these appointments and like what to do. Basically, if you haven't got enough money for these appointments, you can't have them. You won't get, if you don't complete one of the tasks, then you don't get the maternity tokens and then you won't get the baby bonus. To get the baby bonus, every little thing has got to be complete, every daily goal has got to be complete and every support task has got to be completed. So you get the baby bonus which is that your baby, when they're born, they will earn more XP, they will complete actions faster, not affected by low motives, and as you can see, requirements, all daily goal sets complete, all support tasks are complete. If you don't do those, as simple as you don't get the baby bonus, you can still, you'll still have the baby, and you know, you can still continue on with the pregnancy, you just won't get the baby bonus. In terms of our support tasks, as you can see, we're 34% through, and it's have eight sims plan a baby budget on a dining table. That is still ongoing. You can see in the sim tracker, they're almost finished. They've probably got sort of like 15, 20 minutes left on planning a baby budget. So I've got more than the sims that I need, I think, <laughs> doing that. But uh, yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave them doing that for now. Clara has finished her doctor appointment. Let's see what to do next. Grab some tomatoes from the fridge. Okay, so let's go and grab some tomatoes. We have got 13,700. We should probably start preparing the like the nursery, right, for the baby. Is she selected? Yes, Clara is selected. And let's click on the fridge. Eat tomatoes is two hours. At the moment, my support sims are um, knitting. They've got five baby items to knit for Clara's baby on a couch. They are doing that off over at a different house. Clara's finished her tomatoes. Now she needs to talk to another sim to decide on nursery themes. Oh, yes, see, it is. It's starting to get time. We've got a sim over here. Yes, we have. Starting to get time for Clara to start thinking about a nursery, although to be honest, there is no space in this house for nurseries. Maybe they need to move. I think they'll need to move house. Let's click on this. Oh, hang on, I've got to wait till she gets downstairs. And then once she's down, let's click on her and decide our nursery themes is four hours and 15 minutes. 
a long time. How many more tasks have we got after this one? Two more. We've got to call a friend on a phone. Oh, so we talk to a sim and then we call someone to discuss nursery ideas. And then another phone to discuss belly casts. Oh, that's cool. Clara has finished talking to another sim to help decide on nursery themes. Now, let's go and... So we've got to call a friend and then phone a friend. Okay, so both two more actions on a phone. Click on the phone and we've got to call a friend. Oh, no, not call a friend. There's discuss nursery ideas is 3 hours and 20 and discuss belly cast is 1 hour and 50. So let's, uh, let's discuss belly cast first for 1 hour and 50 minutes. She has finished doing that and then let's just click on the phone one last time to discuss nursery ideas for 3 hours and 20 minutes and this is her last task for today. You may be wondering why or how I've got all of these social points. I've got 1,043. Because I'm VIP, I think it's actually VIP level 7 that this comes with, not VIP level 8, it could, it could be 8, I'm not entirely sure. But I get a simoleon, so let me plant a thing actually to show you. I get a free seed every day for the social point flower and I haven't um, I haven't spun them for, like, as you can see, I've got like 70 seeds. I had like 130 or something. I just kind of just forget about it and let them collect up every day. And I've just been spinning it a few times in between whilst uh, Clara was doing those things and I managed to get the three pumpkins that gives you 500 SP. So that was really good because I, I have been using a little bit of SP in this task or in this pregnancy journey to complete some of Clara's tasks. I mean, I don't need to do it. I would be able to do them within each day. It's just that with recording them and trying to get a video out, sometimes there's not quite enough time, but I think it is possible to do without using any SP. Clara has finished on the phone and that is goal set complete. All the day's goals are complete and maternity tokens have been awarded. So we have completed day Five, actually, let's just go and get our sims who are doing support task. They've finished knitting the baby items. So there we go, that is task complete. Let's just check out the next support task that we've got. Uh, sit on a couch and sew 12 clothes for Clara's baby. So we need to do that 12 times with 12 sims. That is 3 hours and 20. So we'll get that started with 12 sims. No, not 12. Was it 13? How many was it? Oh no, it was 12. It was 12. I was right. Okay, we've got five over here. I'll go and find some more. Eight more somewhere else. Oh, in fact, no, he's not doing anything at the moment. Not the plant. We want the sofa. There we go. They're all sewing. And then over at this house, we'll get all of these sims. I think I've kept like 10 sims over here. So this is where... They all glitched inside each other on the other video. I think they may be glitching inside each other in this one as well. We'll just wait for them all to come over and check that we've got 13 of them. So we had five at the other house, so we need eight over here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've only got six. Okay, so let's bring two more people over. I thought I had ten sims over here, but obviously not. And then we'll just get... Oh, no. Why am I saying... I keep thinking it's 13. It's not 13, is it? It's only 12. Let's just have a little look in the sim tracker. Check I've got 12 people sewing clothes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I've got 13, so I could cancel one if I needed to use a sim, but I can just leave them there. It's no problem. I think what we might do today, actually, we've got 14,000 maternity tokens. Let's go into the store, hey, and buy some items. And I think we're going to concentrate on the actual, like, the furniture as opposed to the clothes because, well, just because I'd rather get them, to be quite honest. And I think nautical or contemporary, I think I'm going to go for the contemporary design. So let's see what we can buy. So... What have we got? 14,000. So let's go ahead. I wonder if we can get all... Oh, no, we won't be able to get all of these things at all. Maybe we'll have to wait till tomorrow to get it all. But let's get... We've got navy floor. We can buy that. And then let's get grey wall. I mean, that's a bit naff, really, isn't it, the grey wall? It's nothing wonderful. Let's get this rug. What have we got left? We've got 7,000. Oh, so tomorrow we'll buy that. 
and then hopefully tomorrow no we're not gonna have enough enough coins tomorrow are we or tokens i should say to get that olive mobile i really want to start decorating um a room for baby when it arrives i like this style so there we go we've bought our first things i think in the next episode we'll have a look at those things so in tomorrow's episode we'll take a little look at what we have bought but for now i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching join me tomorrow for day six it'll be our last day final day of trimester two before day seven trimester three when clara's belly bump will grow thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you tomorrow for day six bye